Hey everybody, this is Sigari. Today I'm going to be showing you guys a little trick that I found to make a lot of money really quick in No Man's Sky. And this involves farming Gravitino Balls. Uh, the first thing that you should do is you should make sure that your inventory is as clear as possible. You're likely going to be on an extreme planet of some sort, so be sure to bring sodium with you, maybe some ion batteries, and then don't forget your oxygen and your oxygen capsules because you're going to be doing a lot of running. Uh, try and clear up as much inventory space as you can, move extra stuff to your starship or your freighter, and then all you need to do is find a place with a galactic trade terminal on your planet that has Gravitino Balls. So you're on a planet with Gravitino Balls just littering the ground, and then you've got your galactic trade terminal here. With the galactic trade terminal, you'll be able to run back here quickly, sell your balls, and then go out and find more. So without further ado, let's get started. So I'm going to go outside here and it's the middle of the day in this uh, nasty heat planet. And what we're going to do is we're just going to start running. So first things first, we're going to recharge our life support and then we are going to head out. Now the planet that I'm on has frenzied sentinels. I don't know if you can see in the left there, but sentinels like to go nuts immediately as soon as they see me. It's kind of a bummer because it's just more sentinels that I have to run from, but it doesn't really matter in the long run because I'm just going to be finding more of these balls anyway. All right, so here are what Gravitino balls look like. They look like little shiny objects on the ground and they blind you. Uh, when you approach them, you're going to need to pick them up as quickly as you can because you'll get a warning or an alarm level of three, which will cause a robo dog and two sentinels to approach your location. So grab them all, and then head to the next uh, head to the next site as quickly as you can. Don't don't try and stop in the middle uh, because you will be followed. Just grab as many as you can here. If you start taking too much damage, book it. Uh, you should be able to grab them in between in between detection points though, and just keep your eyes peeled pretty regularly. Uh, if you see anything that looks like another set of Gravitino Balls, go for it. Also, try to remember where your ship was, just in case you get lost. And once you approach the Gravitino Balls, get a quick survey of how many about you, you need to have. So I have about six here. So one, two, three, ah, four... Five. Oh, it's not going to let me get it. No, I'm not going to be able to pick that one up. I'm going to have to just run. Here's some more. For some reason, sometimes you can't pick them up. I don't understand why. So it looks like three here. So we're going to go one, two, three. All right, keep going. Don't stop. Okay. Remember, always know where your ship is. My ship is about behind me right now, so that's good. Don't try and run in the same circle if you can avoid it. Uh, ooh, Curious Deposit. That's pretty cool. So Curious Deposits, uh, while we're here, I'll just take a quick second. These are really nice. Uh, it takes a minute to mine them, but uh, they kind of roll away. And once you're finished mining them, they give you a huge amount of resources. So if I hit this here, let's get rid of that there. I got a Tetra Cobalt. And you can keep mining those for resources. Anyway, we're doing really good here. I'm going to drop that dust. Let's keep going. Let's not stop while we've got the pace up. Do you see any more out there? I do not. Oh my gosh, dude. It looks like eight. Eight, probably. Yeah, let's count really quick. Yep, about eight. All right, here we go. Here we go. One, two. Oh boy. Three, four, five six, seven, and for some reason, again, I can't, oh, eight, got it, all right, sweet, we're on the move. Okay, three here, one, two, oh, geez, that was really bright, three, oh, four, there's a, there's a couple stacks right here. Sometimes looking away helps, uh, there's really, I really don't have the answer, sometimes you just can't pick them up, <laughs> it's buggy. All right, there's a few over here. Yeah, but anyway, these planets are absolutely massive for quick credit generation. I mean, you'll see when I go back here. All right, so let's start grabbing. Also, try to keep track of your inventory slots. 
You'll know when you're about full and you'll need to head back soon. I think I've got about two more slot, two more, yeah. So I've got about, let me see, seven more slots. So another 45 balls or so. And then once you make a certain distance, then you'll want to start heading back to your ship. All right, four. Okay, there we go, doing good. Sentinel's caught up to me, gotta keep running. Oh, there's a whole bunch more over here, look at all these. If you can find some of the booster for your engines, it's the blue plant on the ground, it will help you get around really fast while you're doing this. Unfortunately, I haven't seen many on this planet. Oh boy, we ran right towards the dog. All right, let's keep going, just kind of chop chop. Oh, whoops, that was a mistake. All right, so we're about a thousand, maybe 1200 away from my ship. Oh, 500, wow. All right, I thought I was getting pretty far there, I guess not. Nice big open area. Should find plenty here. All right, here we go. We got some. One, two, three, four, five, six. Oh, looks like seven. Two, three, four, five, six. Okay, it was six. All right, let's keep going. Big open area. Oh, look, there's some of that uh, booster. So that booster will help me just move around super quick. Oh wow, these guys are right on me now. Gotta just keep moving. All right, so here's what we're gonna do here. We're gonna grab these and then we're gonna get the booster and take off. And the best way to take off with a booster is when you grab it, use your melee key, which is by default Q. Oh, yeah, we are having a really tough time. And then jump and then use your jet. And you'll get a really nice kickstart boost in a direction. And then with your booster, you can keep going. It's it's actually pretty convenient. And that's not an exploit or anything. The devs apparently programmed it that way, which is interesting. Kind of like tricording and descent. I mean, you know, different games have a lot of different like little methods or Zip lining in other games where you kind of just use multiple directions to go really fast. Oh, was that inventory soul? full? All right, so inventory is full. Let's drop that dust and then let's start heading back to our ship. As a matter of fact, you know what we're going to do? We're going to actually drop that tetra cobalt here because these are worth more. Okay. There's the money right there. Grab them. All right, inventory full, so let's head on back now. Make sure that your ship is parked at the location. It just makes it easier for you to find. You don't want to be running around in circles for a really long time. Okay, so that was a pretty short trip. We'll, we'll count how many I got, and then we'll also be able to see how much... Uh, how much money I used up, but I only used a little bit of oxygen and a little bit of sodium on this trip. So not too shabby. All right, let's run inside here. Ta-da. All right, and let's turn in and see how we did. Sell items. We got... 1 million credits in just a few minutes of time, so not super bad, guys.
Anyway, this is Cigari. I just wanted to show you something I learned today. I hope you guys have a great day.